This is the third video for the Caravan Park database for Unit 2, Create a System to Manage Information. Let's have a look at the paper to see what you've got to do for Activity 2. So just recap, we've done a design, we've created the tables and we've shown the relationship window in the previous task. So for this one we need to create efficient table structures based on activity one and the data shown in figure one. The table structures must use suitable validation to meet these requirements. A record for a new manufacturer will not save if the manufacturer ID is not in the correct format. A record for a new manufacturer will not save if the manufacturer name is not present. A record for a new model will not save if the manufacturer ID is not present. A record for a new model will not save if the manufacturer ID is invalid. A record will not save if the number of bedrooms is below the accepted range and a record will not save if the number of bedrooms is above the accepted range and following that we're going to input the data given in figure one in your relational database and remember you need to enter the data in that order that I covered in the previous video and then we're going to evidence our table structures and validation screen prints using the given activity 2 template which you will be given in the exam. You need to display your screen prints to show the design of each table showing the structure including the fields and data types and the validation including one suitable example for each of these only one suitable example so if you've got more than one you don't need to do more than one so we need to cover the presence check the length check the value lookup or range check a table lookup and a format check we save our evidence of the table structures as a PDF in the folder for submission as activity 2 underscore registration number underscore surname underscore first letter of first name. Now you have got 45 minutes for this activity but providing everything's gone okay so far you should be able to get through this I think a bit quicker than 45 minutes and then you can use that time maybe on something that you're having some difficulty with. So let's just have a look now at the validation that we're going to set up. So the first one, a record for a new manufacturer will not save if the manufacturer ID is not in the correct format. I've opened up TBL manufacturer. Here we can see the format, the input mask. We've got greater than, which means it forces anything that's keyed in at the keyboard into uppercase and then three L's which indicate that there are three letters of the alphabet. The next one is a record for a new manufacturer will not save if the manufacturer name is not present. So again we've got TBL manufacturer opened and in the validation rule we need to write is not null and in the validation text we need to put some clear indication to the user what's required so in this case the manufacturer's name must be present and you should always use that type of validation don't go for required yes that won't gain you any marks in the exam so the next validation is a record for a new model will not save if the manufacturer ID is not present. So again, manufacturer ID in the validation rule is not null. And again, some text for the user, manufacturer ID must be entered. And for the next one, a record for a new model will not save if the manufacturer ID is invalid. Now, this manufacturer ID we're actually getting from the manufacturer table. And if you click on the lookup tab here in design view, it shows here we've got a combo box. 
It's based on a table and it tells us we're selecting from TBL manufacturer the manufacturer ID. So we can only select a valid manufacturer ID. We've said limit to list, yes. That means the user can't add any new manufacturer IDs to the list. So that will make sure it is a valid manufacturer ID. And then finally, we've got the validation of the number of bedrooms. We've got to make sure that the number of bedrooms is not below the accepted range. And we've got to make sure the number of bedrooms is not above the accepted range. So in the validation rule, we're going to write between one and three. And in the validation text, again, little message to the user, number of bedrooms must be between one and three. And now let's just have a quick look at the completion of the Activity 2 template. The first part is the table structures. And for here you need to add a screen print of your tables in Design View, showing the table names, the field names and the data types only. So we've got our four tables here. And as you can see, I've just taken little snips showing each table. Just make sure that the examiner can see all the relevant information in these little screenshots. And then the second part of completing activity two is about the table validation. We need to give evidence of a presence check. So in this case, I've used the manufacturer's name in TBL manufacturer, and I'm showing the validation here. The next one is length check. And I think you can probably use the same field. And here we need to make sure that we've changed the field size to something other than 255 and that it's something appropriate for the data that's going into the field. Then we've got a value lookup or a range check. You don't have to do both, just one or the other. Now, in this database, we had a range check on that number of bedrooms. So again, TBL model, number of bedrooms, and I'm showing the validation here um, in the screenshot. We've then got a table lookup. And again, you might have more than one in, in an exam. You only need to show just one. And it's important to remember that this is showing the foreign key table lookup. So in this case, I've got TBL model open, but I'm showing the manufacturer ID and it's on this lookup tab and it's showing the examiner here that I've set that up as a table lookup. Just make sure that you widen the screenshot so that the examiner can see all the information in this lookup. And then finally, we've got the format check. Again, only one format. If you've got more than one in the database, you don't need to do all of them, just one example. So in this case, I've got TBL manufacturer and the format check is I've changed the field size to three. The input mass there is greater than and then three ETLs. I've also added in is not null to make sure it's not left empty as well with it being a primary key. Make sure you save your file as a PDF using the name given in the activity. In the next video, we will start looking at the queries, which is activity three.